Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. We're already to Thursday. Unbelievable. I don't know how we got this far, but you know, it's been a week. Well, as you can see, today I am doing Quaker Sampling 3 by With My Needle. And I got this off of 123 Stitch, of course. And there's only two pages to the pattern. So it's real easy to follow a nice big pattern. And um, it's all one color. I'm using 221 DMC as you can see and I have 14 count country French latte which is the lightest of the country line from Winchet and we are going to be working right on this right here let me bring you down come on it's just being a pain so I guess I'll have to bring it up but we're working on this motif right here. Yep, and before we get started, I had one of my viewers ask me how I stitch on top. And that's why I picked this, because it's 14 count. And it should be easy to see how I do this. Now, for the most part, I stitch on top. Of course, I get to... Um, weird places you know where I have to go up and down but that's just because my wrist and everything else won't um, it won't cooperate what can I say I'm old I'm not ancient okay so I'm using the loop method and as you can see I got the loop here and I am gonna go right through the loop and I've seen people do this from the back but I can't seem to master that. Then you pull it up tight. You go back down through the same hole that you just came up with your loop. And it locks it in place. Now see, I have to go down because my wrist won't go that way. So we'll, we'll get to a place where I can. All right. I just wanted to show you how that worked. Then I just go from, if you're using Ada Cloth, because I don't know how to do this with anything else, um, just go over to the next hole and put your needle in, like so, and pull up. Now I'm going to go down to where my next stitch is, which is going to be over on this corner. And see, I've made a whole, a whole stitch. And I went across. Got to see where my next. Okay. We're gonna do that for a while. So I just go perpendicular, so it's the top corner to the bottom and down. Now I'm gonna be going at a diagonal. So. I just go to the, the hole right next door. Hopefully you can see that. And pull my thread. Now I'm going to go down again. Like so. And just pull through and I just continue that way. I don't have any uh, fill in like I did here to work on. I got to count how many. I'm just sewing along. Three, six. Okay. One, two, three. So I have to make another one that's in a diagonal fashion. But that is how I stitch on top. And for me, it goes a lot faster. I had to look. Sorry. Okay, so now I've got to have three stitches that go down this way. So I just go to the opposite corner. And on the down, I come back 
to where I just came up from to go to the third one and go across and down now I have to see where I'm at okay so the next one I maneuver it's gonna be a kitty corner line so I went over to the that corner And we're going kitty corner again so I want to get to that top of that one corner now I stitch my first line always for me always goes like that if you can see the direction of the needle now I know some people stitch it going this way as their first X you know part of the X so if you stitch that way that's fine and if not, just do the opposite of what I'm doing. Does that hopefully make sense? I hope. How many? I had to count. And I have to count again because I keep forgetting. Okay. So I thought it'd be a little bit easier to show you and you can make nice pretty stitches stitching from one corner to the next because you're always in the hole you can see where the hole is and you don't have to go up and down sorry I gotta move my ideally again hang on gotta count sorry for the arm So we're going to make eight stitches going on the diagonal. But since I don't have to go up and down for every stitch, it and it's easier on my arms and my wrist. I can't stand that up and down motion and that's why I don't use sorry I need a drink of coffee that's why I don't use a scroll frame I can't seem to manage this sorry everything's collapsing over here we have too much crap on my desk um, I can't handle that up and down up and down repetitiously but that's just me. Okay, I gotta make sure I got eight. Whoops. I need one more. So every once in a while it will have to go up and down, but it's not that repetition use two hands thing. I can't handle that, that two handed. It just drives me over the edge so I, I gave up my my scroll frame okay now I'm gonna do a line horizontally so I have to tilt my my frame but the same rules apply whoops if I can keep a hold of the needle my hands are a little dry today And I know it's hard trying to get into a groove when you've just started begun stitching and you don't know all these things and you know I just want to get it done and I like working in monochromatic because I don't have to worry about a color change but you know I do like the colors what are you doing over there Molly she is just digging at her blankets I know she's not cold trust me the sun's shining in on her. She's just being finicky today. But that is how you... I don't know what the name of it is. I can't think. Technically, uh, I'm a technotard here. Come on. So hopefully you can see 
just what is going on. I'm looking at my pattern. Whoops, wrong, wrong, wrong. I have to come back up at a diagonal. I think it's cross country. I don't think it's cross country. I think that's that is something else, but I, I'm not sure. I think it's the sewing method. Maybe it's the sewing method. If if you know, put it in the uh, the uh, the comment box so this subscriber can can know and and we all try to teach everybody you know all the little tricks and and things. Really. Well, how did that work? Now, see, I've messed up. No, I'm on the wrong side. Holy cow. Okay. No. Okay, I messed up. Frogging time. Frogging time at Stitching with Laura. What would be a session without frogging? I should have the, uh, what do you call it? The line keeper going up and down instead of horizontal because I was stitching someplace else. But that's because I was talking. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to have to use my little threader. I love these threaders. They were like less than three bucks, I think, on. Amazon and I got 50 of them. It's a good thing cuz I've lost at least at least 10 of them or more since I've had this bag. And I've had this bag god for almost a year. And I probably got 30 left. So it's great. It it was a good investment. I like to make good investments in my stitching. <coughs> now if they would just send or sell 12 packs of needles. I don't know how good they'd be, but okay, let's try this again. That does not need to be there, so we're going to back out of that. And I have to be here. I'll try to stick with the pattern, guys. I thought I was going rogue there for a minute. I thought I was going rogue. Now i got to turn it sideways because my wrist does not move that way. That is, if I can get it there. Okay. Now where? Okay, so now I gotta skip one. But sooner or later, after you've been stitching for a while, you will develop your own way of doing things. Granted, I started up and down, you know, stitch on the top and put it down, stitch it up in the, the beginning. And I don't know, I came across this and I went, yeah, I could do that. So you you learn as you go. It'll be okay. You stitch however you want to stitch. So yesterday was like a long day, and Tuesday was a long day at work. It's like, my gosh, can we just get through this? I just thought it felt like I'd been there forever, and I got out of there at 9 or so. have to look, sorry. So I hope this helps my subscriber or viewer as we say. Okay, we got that part done. Woohoo! 
getting anywhere. Trying to get these silly little leaves done. And I do stitch better going from from right to left. I don't know. It it's just easier. I don't have to turn anything. Oh god, my knee. Oh, I came home last night and my will you stop? Seriously? Thank you. My hip was just absolutely killing me. And I don't know what I did. I don't remember running into anything, per se. But, I don't know. I'm just blaming it on the weather this week. I'd take a Tylenol PM and, and went to sleep. I wasn't up very long. We didn't get out of bed until at least 8 o'clock. Hang on, guys. I gotta put another stitch right there. And, I don't, oh, I fixed a frozen pizza for dinner because, you know, I wasn't about this standing there. Now, today I'm gonna get out pork steak and fry up some pork steak and have a baked potato. And maybe some spinach. Yum. I love spinach. I'm not real crazy about spinach that is fresh. I mean, I can have it in a salad, but to put just like a dressing on it and eat spinach raw, I don't like that. I like mine cooked with butter. But I've always liked spinach that way. And I couldn't find my frozen spinach, so I had to uh, buy some uh, canned spinach. I'd rather have the frozen. I think it tastes better. But they were out of it, so then I went back well, two or three days later. And I found some, so I bought two, two whole bags of them. I love spinach. My dad loved spinach, so I guess that's why I liked it. But he wasn't having them Brussels sprouts, and neither was I. I don't know. I like cabbage, and that's what it tastes like until you get to that bitter part. And I don't care for that that bitter taste at the end of Brussels sprouts when you're eating it. So I don't fix Brussels sprouts. I figured you might as well eat what you want. So, I pick spinach, and I think that's one of my favorite vegetables. Now, I do like broccoli, like, what do you call it? Like raw, and cauliflower, but, uh, and you got, but you got to have ranch dressing. That's just, like, all there is to it. So, yeah, I even got some of those. It's like broccoli that's been kind of chopped up really fine. And they mixed with some kind of cheese and something. And they make, they look like tater tots, only they're about that long. I don't remember. I think uh, Green Giant makes them. And, uh, yeah, I love them. Okay, we got that part done. Where am I? Is there a space there? 
There is crap. Oh, man. Mm. Try again. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with my head. I really don't. This just started yesterday. And it's not like I've been on my feet. I could sit down at any time as far as that goes. So, I don't know. Just weird aching pains. But I do have to get some things done here. I'm just not going to overdo it. I may save it for Saturday. I have no inclination to go anywhere. All right. So I'm excited for sat Sunday. I almost said Saturday. I wish. No, Sunday. And starting the, the ornaments out. Because, God, I need to start something new. Everything is just looking really stale. When you got that little carrot hanging in front of you. <sighs> yeah. So we'll see. I think we got the hashtag figured out, guys. So... Just stitch away and share away. All you got to do is click on uh, or type the hashtag in your post. And it should show up right on the Sal thing. So it's hashtag 12 month Christmas ornament. Sal and 12 is one two month Christmas and ornament all are capital letters so hang in there guys we're gonna get there where am I had to get a new piece of thread it was just too short but I love this two two one it's my favorite favorite red I've used it on three or four things that I'm stitching currently so I keep buying it in 12 skein lots when I get it from a one two three stitch just so I'll have enough I had to order that and some uh, whoops don't get the backing in there that's another thing I do. I don't... Oh, I do. I usually, when I'm stitching, I have my pattern here. So I have one of these two-inch binder clips, I guess they call them. Wait, let me back you out. Binder clips. And I just clip it right here. And let me turn this sideways. Or inside it out. And I just clip my pattern right on there and I know right where I'm at and I can look at my stitching at the same time plus it doubles to hold my material back and it works really well and that way I don't um, stitch the stupid side of the fabric down to what I am stitching where it's not supposed to be I got this is a long piece of fabric of course I cut the bottom off but usually I don't cut it off until I can get to the bottom edge. And that's when I... I left probably a good five inches down here at the bottom. So, that'll help. Alright guys, I think that is going to be about it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you will know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Thursday and a good rest of your week. 
We will see you tomorrow. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep stitching. God bless. Bye-bye.